here's what you want to pay attention to today for your AI news. We have Quinn about to drop probably one of the most anticipated or going to be one of the most popular models their Coder 30A3, this is gonna be their small size coder. Of course, everybody is enjoying the large 480 coder that has just come out. So definitely, I think this, it's it's very approachable and runnable on a lot of size machines. By shoot coder tomorrow, I don't know if that means shoot release it, I hope it does. Right now, that was 10 hours ago, we have some activity going on over there. So you can check out the link to the Quinn repo on Hugging Face in the description below to see when it drops. And I would say I also expect Unsloft to have a pretty quick quant release on this as well. Up next, we've got Hunyan World 1, which is a 3D world generator. And I haven't had a chance to run this yet, but let me know in the comments below if you would like a video on me running this. And we also have this week released WAN 2.2, cutting edge video generation model from again, the Alibaba group. This kind of happens every six months or so. And if you remember back to the January-ish timeframe, there was a flurry of activity with Quinn 2.5 and a lot of other open source models. So definitely we are still waiting for the DeepSeek, hopefully R2, to come out. We do have a lot of releases from the Alibaba group. And if you wanted to run that, you can run that locally on your own machine with as little as eight gigabytes of VRAM. And I'm gonna actually show you how to go even lower here in just a second. The comfy UI, really nice, really easy to use, kind of spaghetti diagramming setup. And there's also other options if you wanted to go with something a little more CLI based and get a little bit of extra savings on RAM. Say you had as low as six gigabytes of VRAM on a GPU, you would be able to use something like a 10 series card with the Deep Beep Meep repo, Deep Beep Meep repo, which you can check back in this channel's history when I did a guide on the WAN 2.1, I think it was 2.1, the last one that they released, and I will have a guide for WAN 2.2. If you just prefer to type out and run a Gradio yourself, that could be an easy way also, different user interface essentially, so some people might pref prefer that over the more complex kind of interface that you get with Comfy UI. After that, we have the new Olama app, which is a full GUI apparently now. So this is pretty cool. We're gonna actually download this and just you know grab a really small model really quick and just look at the functions and the features and kind of walk through the user interface. Oh, hey there. Just click around, show you guys some of the user interface really quick. This looks incredibly easy to use and incredibly simple. Let's go ahead and send it a howdy here and just get it warmed up. It may need to download the model automatically. So that's actually very easy to do. And it looks like it, they have pre-selected kind of a lot of smaller size models. Like the 27B Gemma, I would not run on the card I have in this particular machine, which is an eight gigabyte GPU. I'd run that on something like a 24 gigabyte GPU, maybe a 16 gigabyte GPU. But the Gemma 312B, I would run on this. So you can see that actually gave me back a pretty decent tokens per second. Although it doesn't tell me what the tokens per second were. Ooh, and I do like actually knowing those kind of statistics, but I don't think there's a way to get that if I hover, no, no. And so you got a settings menu, very bare bone. Uh, you can turn this on if you wanna have it accessible as a web service. And of course you got your context window, so be mindful of how big you set that. If you wanna add another chat, just hit the new chat button, it'll pull it up, select the model that you wanna download or the model that you're interested in. Of course, Quinn 3, like I mentioned, is probably gonna be one of them that you would like to experience if you have maybe 16 gigabytes of VRAM, I think you'll have a pretty good experience on it. Certainly if you got a 24 gigabyte GPU, it's gonna be pretty good. You would need probably some additional system memory to access that if it is a 30B and you're running it at a high quant, but I don't even see really like a quant selector here. So I don't, I don't even think there's a quant selector. So this might be a good way to introduce it to like a parent or somebody who needs the most simplistic interface imaginable. We have Zuckerberg publishing a kind of op-ed about super intelligence. So first off, I do not think that we are close to super intelligence myself. Let me know if you think we're close to super intelligence because I, I think we got a ways to go. I think we've got a, a decent ways to go. He says that we need to be careful about what we choose to open source. So I'm gonna provide what I think is a very likely scenario. I look forward to reading what your scenarios that you think could pan out here look like, but I think it very likely is 
Smaller models will be still kind of released out there under their Llama license, possibly with additional restrictions. I think there will be a size cap, and I think we already saw something maybe possibly along those lines with Llama for Behemoth, which I believe was a 1.2 trillion. Of course, we now have Kimi at 1.1. We don't know what the Deep Seek R2 is going to be, but I would imagine it's going to be pretty big. I mean, things seem to be trending in that direction, so it very well could be pretty big. Uh, so we never, to my knowledge, got the Llama 4 release, and I remember checking this page out on launch day, and it still has the writing on it then, now that it had then, which is, this is an early preview, and it's still training. So I don't think it is still training, and yeah, I, I think this one could hopefully still produce some Llama 5 or 4.5 or heck, just go redo some of the Llama 4. Uh, but I think we might see some of this definitely limit the size and scope. Will we see another another 405, for instance, is a pretty decent question. If they make a, a revolution in a discovery, would they open source it? I, I think that it means they could. Certainly looks like they're keeping that door open. And if we go on over here, this is not necessarily 100% AI related, but I cover a lot of home lab stuff on this channel also. And if you are interested in buying anything that is like, you know, kind of that speed pack that I love to buy off eBay, and boy, do I buy actually quite a bit of it. Cables, always cables, connectors, but those things you might want to acquire them before August 29th because the Diminis exemption, there was apparently some sort of a loophole. It's now been closed and you're looking at a duty range from 80 per $80 per item to $200 per item. So we'll have to wait and see if this actually happens first off. But if that does happen, you would want to be uh, not needing to purchase anything because that is a fairly large price increase. And so it has been a busy, busy week. And there are quite a few additional things that I have covered already this week, like the ZAI Air 106, which excellent model, but there were so many questions about it. And I have always wanted to produce something that was just a little bit of a video, but a lot of bit of writing on how and why and the reasoning behind things, because I've talked about it ad nauseum on the channel. I've had the conversation in like a kajillion different comments and YouTube doesn't give me the option to upload something if I forget to include it. So this way I can just include this page in the beginning of all the model reviews. And that way, if people have questions, they can hit here first. A lot of people ask questions about this because they didn't realize my benchmarking and my model review, very different in how I approach those. I had that conversation quite a few times, as a matter of fact, and also why some of the questions are asked and how they're asked. That's explained in here as well. All of the questions are in here. If you've ever wanted to get yourself a copy, you can actually click click, click that copy button and boom, you got DSP's uh, very unscientific, super unscientific question set here and a ton of reasoning around why these questions were selected, what the thought process was that went on behind them. Of course, getting that one shot of all 10 of them is the pass that will get us to the next grade. And I really think that's coming incredibly, incredibly soon. So definitely make sure you hit like and subscribe. Big shout out to all of our channel members and subscribers. I really do appreciate everything that you guys do. It really does help me keep the channel up and going. But definitely if you look and you're interested, this is something you probably want to read. So there is your AI news with a local bent for today. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll check you guys out next time.